Today we'll work on les adjectifs qualificatifs. So adjectives that are really, really useful. And we'll see that in most of the cases, well, we will put this adjective after the name. Okay, so let's see a few examples now. The first one, travailleur, travailleuse. So when it comes to adjective, you've got to keep in mind that, of course, as usual in French, we will have the difference between the masculine form and the feminine form. And after this page, we'll see the same page, but then for the plural version, because, of course, we will have the difference between the singular and the plural form. Okay, so travailleur, masculine, so I will put always the first form here at the masculine form and then the feminine form here, travailleuse. Okay, so let's see another example. Heureux, heureuse. Aventureux, aventureuse. Merveilleux, merveilleuse. Sérieux, sérieuse, joyeux, joyeuse, paresseux, paresseuse, naturel, naturel. So here you can see that we write them differently, but then phonetically they are the same. Listen, naturel, naturel. Okay, same way of saying them. Léger, légère, régulier, régulière, blanc, blanche, and so for these adjectives and others as well, you should put them after the name. Après le nom. Okay, so let's see now the same, exact same adjective, but then at the plural form. Okay, so you can see that travailleur, you will only need to add this final S here. So phonetically it's the same, travailleur, singular form, without the S, and then travailleur, plural form, with the S, it's the same. Feminine form, travailleuse, same rule. And same phonetical thing, you don't pronounce the final S, so you get travailleuse. Okay? Travailleur, travailleuse. Then, heureux, doesn't change. Heureuse, final S, not pronounced. Aventureux, doesn't change. Aventureuse, final S, not pronounced. Merveilleux, doesn't change. Merveilleuse. So final S and then, <laughs> what a surprise, you don't pronounce it. Sérieux, sérieuse. Joyeux, joyeuse. Paresseux, paresseuse. Naturel, naturel. Léger, légère. Régulier, régulière. Blanc, blanche. Okay, so remember, they will come after the name, après le nom. Okay, but then, so, oh, sorry, we've got some examples now. C'est un homme travailleur. J'aime la viande froide. Voici une femme heureuse. Nous prenons un repas léger. All right. So if we take one minute to look at it, you've got here, travailleur, froide, heureuse, léger. So they are adjectives. Okay. And then you've got to Keep in mind that you will have to put whether the masculine or the feminine, singular or plural form, according to the word it is connected to. 
in that case here you've got un homme it's a man okay so masculine you can see here that it's the singular form it's a un so you've got to put this adjective at the masculine singular form travailleur like that okay in that case here you've got la viande the meat meat sorry so you can see here that it's singular and it's feminine because it's la the article la okay so you will put froid so it's cold okay you will put it at the feminine form with the final e okay but not the plural because it's only the here the singular form and then here we've got une femme a woman okay so feminine article une okay and it's the singular form so heureuse here feminine form singular form and then the last one repas it's a meal okay and here you can see that you've got the article so it's the singular and it's the masculine so léger light should be at the masculine singular form all right so let's see now adjectives that uh, will come before the word the name or the, the word if you want okay so let's see them and we've got beau belle bon bonne grand grande gros grosse jeune so it's in interesting here because you've got only one form for the masculine and the feminine it doesn't change joli joli mauvais mauvaise nouveau nouvelle petit petite vieux vieille autre same thing here as for jeune only one form okay so these adjectives will come before the word or before the name okay so we'll see now the plural version and it's beau okay so you put this x at the end but then you don't pronounce it so it's beau all right belle bon bonne final s not pronounced grand grande gros grosse jeune joli joli mauvais mauvaise nouveau nouvelle petit petite vieux vieille autre all right so let's see now important thing so we've got some adjectives like beau so the one we just saw previously so beau and then we will have this belle form as well for the masculine form so let's see here the reason why so in the first sentence merci pour ce beau cadeau so thank you for this beautiful gift okay merci pour ce beau cadeau so in this in this sentence so as we saw previously we'll get to put it beau so the adjective before the word so cadeau here gift and then cadeau is masculine so we should put the beau form that we saw previously in the second example here, voici un bel homme. So you could ask me the question, why do you put this bel form instead of beau? Because homme, well, it's masculine, yes. The reason is that it starts with the sound O. Because if you remember carefully, H is not pronounced, so H doesn't exist phonetically. And then, for aesthetical reasons, of course, 
uh, we tend to think that if we would have this bo here and then om, we would get this sentence. Voici un beau homme. Doesn't sound, doesn't sound nice. So we've got to put this bel form here instead of beau. Okay. So it does mean that for all the situation when you will have a word starting whether with a vowel or H and the vowel, so the H is not pronounced, you will have to put this bel form instead of bo. Okay? Remember you pronounce it bel, so like the feminine version, but then you write it b e l. Okay? Voici un bel homme. Here is a beautiful man. Voici un bel homme. Okay? So, now you can see the feminine form. In that case, it's quite simple because it doesn't change at all. C'est une belle table. It's a beautiful table. C'est une belle table. Okay? And then, quelle belle femme. Quelle belle femme. What a beautiful lady. Plural form. Okay. In that case, you get to remember that you will have to put this de preposition here before. Okay. Ils ont de beaux enfants. Okay. And if you want to be purist, then you should put the little liaison here, the little link between the two. Ils ont de beaux enfants. Ils ont, here, you get this link as well. Ils ont de beaux enfants. Okay, so, voici de belles promesses. Voici de belles promesses. Same thing if you want to use nouveau. Okay, you will have two versions for the masculine form. So, you will have nouveau and then nouvelle. So, remember, if you have words, like in that case, ordinateur, masculine words, starting with a vowel or the sound of a vowel. Okay? Example here. Voici le nouveau chef. Okay, in that case, chef, masculine, doesn't start with the sound of a vowel, so you just put the normal nouveau adjective. Voici le nouveau chef. In the second sentence here, you've got ordinateur. Okay, remember, it starts with O, so the sound of a vowel. J'aime mon nouvel ordinateur. Nouvel, phonetically, you pronounce it like the feminine version, but then you write it N-O-U-V-E-L. Okay, we'll see. This is the feminine version, so it goes like double L-E. Okay, phonetically, it is the same, but you write it differently. For the feminine version, it's quite easy because it doesn't change. Elle a acheté une nouvelle voiture. Elle a acheté une nouvelle voiture. C'est la nouvelle copine de mon frère. C'est la nouvelle copine de mon frère. And then, for the plural form, encore de nouveaux problèmes. Encore de nouveaux problèmes. Ils veulent de nouvelles explications. Same thing here, if you want to make the little liaison. Ils veulent de nouvelles explications. Alright, remember, it was exactly the same thing. You've got to put this de and you don't put de. Okay, but you put de in both of the cases, if, the, uh, if it's for the, the plural form, whether masculine or feminine, you don't put de, but you put de. Okay? So let's see now, vieux. So vieux behaves like uh, the two previous adjectives we saw. So you will have one version for the masculine form, or two versions, sorry, for the masculine form. So this one, the, the, the official way. And then the second one for the verbs or for the words who are starting with a sound of a vowel, like here, arbre. Okay, so for normal, <laughs> normal word, so like chien here, dog, so you don't have the sound of a vowel at the beginning. So, il a 
un vieux chien. Ok, and here, c'est un vieil arbre. C'est un vieil arbre. Feminine form, vieille. Ok, j'ai une très vieille voiture. J'ai une très vieille voiture. C'est une vieille table. C'est une vieille table. And then for the plural form. Voici de vieux journaux. So, same rule, remember, if you want to put this uh, de, you shouldn't put de, but de instead. Okay? Voici de vieux journaux. Okay? When you put the article uh, les, it doesn't change and it's not a problem. J'aime les vieilles maisons. J'aime les vieilles maisons. All right.